What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we have a very interesting little toy to play with. This is a potato cannon. That's right. It's made entirely out of PVC pipes and like most of you, I'm sure, I have been seeing these things since I was a kid. I've even been around people firing them quite a bit, but I myself have never actually tried a potato gun. So today, we are gonna change that because I wanna see how powerful slash effective one of these can actually be. Now, I might call this video, How Dangerous is a Potato Gun? Which could have a double meaning. Obviously, we are talking about what's coming out of the business end, not the danger involved in having a failure, which is a real concern with these yam cannons. So just do your research if you're gonna play with one. I'm a highly trained and qualified expert when it comes to things like this. Although I guess I did just admit I've never tried one before and have zero experience, but do as I say, not as I do. All right, let's take a look at our potato cannon here. This one is built entirely out of PVC, which I know isn't the strongest material, but it is the most common. I also used solid core PVC that has a pressure rating, not foam core. So hopefully that helps keep it all in one piece. Hopefully. We've got a three inch combustion chamber with a threaded cap on the back to keep everything sealed up. For the trigger, I just used a gas grill igniter and I put about a 28 inch barrel on this one. I also sharpened it a little bit on the end to kind of core the potato as we shove it down there. If I flip it over, you can actually see I drilled a screw through the base of the barrel to act as a stopper so we don't just shove potatoes all the way in to the combustion chamber. Then I glued everything together to keep it in one piece and this is the ramrod that we're going to use to shove taters in it. So that's about it. It is a pretty simple design. Now obviously there are much higher tech potato launchers out there, but I just went with the old fashioned PVC method since this is probably what most people have and we're gonna see what this bad boy is actually capable of. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's try this thing. I went ahead and wrapped it in duct tape just to add another layer of safety. If something does happen, hopefully it will keep the shards to a minimum. So we've got our little potato here. Go ahead and shove it in the barrel. Use our ramrod. Perfect fit and the fuel. So there's a lot of debate out there on what's the best fuel to use. We have a couple different ones we'll try. We're gonna start with just some hairspray. This is the original Old Faithful that everybody uses. I'm trying to do this quickly so none of it escapes. Make sure the cap's on there tight. Here we go, fire in the hole, boys. <laughs> that went over the backstop. We're at like 130 yards. I thought this would be plenty of room. That just went straight over the backstop on the other side of the shooting range. <laughs> we gotta do that again. One thing I've noticed is a lot of the hairspray escapes before you get the cap on, so I'm gonna try to do it quickly. Did about three little squirts. Here we go. <laughs> that is incredible. That one went probably 50 yards further than the first one. I did not know they went that far. I'm shocked. All right, before we start shooting stuff with it, I wanna see how hard these potatoes are hitting the target from about 10 yards away. So I'll aim for the steel, but even if it misses, it should still hit the railroad ties and we can see the potato impact. Something I never thought I would say. I'll go for that blue steel target. Dude, I don't even know what it hit. It sounded like it skipped off something, but it went out into the woods probably 75 yards before it finally hit a tree and completely exploded. <laughs> this thing is a cannon. We're gonna try it again. I think I might've had that one aimed a little bit too high. 
Maybe it's the angle that I'm holding it at, so I'll flatten it out a little bit. Yes! <laughs> that is extremely powerful. Almost knocked the target over. And obviously, as you can see, the potato just exploded on impact. <laughs> this might be the most fun I've ever had filming a YouTube video. This thing rules. All right, let's start actually shooting some targets with our little potato cannon here and see how powerful this thing really is. First up, a three gallon water jug. We're probably about five yards away. I assume I can hit that target from here. And for this one, we'll just go ahead and use some hairspray. I think it should go through, hopefully, because if not, it's probably coming back at me. So here we go. <laughs> it bounced off the top. I really felt like I had the last one aimed low enough, but apparently not, so. <laughs> All right, well, there is what's left from our potato. That actually penetrated the plastic and stuck in there. Obviously the impact, don't know if you guys can see it, but I can. It's like the size of a baseball right there in the middle of our water jug. And then it broke literally all the way across. So we've got some cracks down here and then a big one right up there along the top. So it didn't actually penetrate the water jug. Obviously this is pretty tough plastic, but it did break it open and that impact was crazy. <laughs> and just to give you an idea, that shot did not feel quite as powerful as some of the others. It's inconsistent because you're just loading it with hairspray. So you really don't know how hot the load is gonna be until you shoot it. But that one did not feel quite as powerful and it still smoked that water jug and broke it wide open. Next up, let's try a watermelon. It just wouldn't feel right if we didn't at least try a watermelon, so. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, I can see some of the potato laying on the table mixed in with the watermelon, which tells me it probably didn't just blow right through it like a hard projectile would. Obviously it is just a potato, so. It's kind of soft, but it did have enough energy to puncture the watermelon and pretty much destroy that thing. That is the damage. And then over here, we have two more pieces of the watermelon and some potato shrapnel as well. Potato shrapnel is something I never thought I would say, but that was a pretty impressive result. I'm surprised. All right, guys, now we are gonna do the test that I'm sure you're all probably the most excited for the ballistic dummy lab head. So I actually wanted to get a torso for this one, but I've had issues with probably the last four ballistic dummy torso videos I've done, and those things are not cheap. So if you like these results and you wanna see a torso, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and get one. But after shooting the potato gun and using common sense, I'm going to say it probably won't do a whole lot of damage to our ballistic dummy head. Obviously potatoes are not as hard as a skull, and it would have to be going extremely fast to break anything or do any real damage. So I predict he will survive, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's find out. Okay, obviously we are very close. I feel like there's a 0% chance of me hitting this thing at any sort of distance. So unfortunately, we're gonna shoot it at point blank range. I feel like the potato will probably break apart on impact. So hopefully it doesn't come back. This is the biggest potato that I saw in the bag at least the thickest, which should give us a good seal. Try to get it in there good. Oh yeah. Wish me luck, boys. Okay. There's no way this is real. 
I am shocked. I did not think a potato would be able to break a ballistic dummy head. I don't know where it went. Like, I don't know if it just exploded on impact. Surely it's not inside our ballistic dummy head. But either way, it did some serious damage and actually did destroy that thing. Let's check it out. All right, let me know in the comments if you actually expected this result because I did not. I'm gonna be honest, I am shocked by this. So let's take a look. Obviously you can see where the potato hit. <laughs> There's just a perfect circle right there. Broke the ballistic dummy head into a bunch of different pieces. It looks like we might have some green potatoes there from the zombie blood. And then on top, you can see it even cracked the top, the side, the other side of our ballistic dummy head as well. So that potato <laughs> did some serious damage. Like this is more than I've gotten from, you know, some handgun calibers, just absolutely crazy. Now, I assume it didn't penetrate. I could be wrong. Maybe I'll check here in just a second but I doubt. Yeah, so it looks like, whoops, just splattered that onto the camera lens. No way. Oh, the potato, or at least a piece of it, was inside the ballistic dummy head. I really can't believe this. Well, like I said, I had planned on using this in a future video. I brought it out today as basically just a prop. I did not think the potato gun would actually do any damage. And I was wrong. A freaking potato penetrated our ballistic dummy lap head. And if you don't think these are realistic, go back and watch the other hundred videos that I have. I think they are based off how they react with certain firearms. So our zombie did not survive the potato cannon. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I think we answered the question, how powerful is a potato gun? And I don't know about you guys, but it exceeded my expectations by a lot, especially on the ballistic dummy lab head. So it's very powerful, very effective, dangerous, and definitely not a toy. I'll just put it that way. Again, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.